Hi there and welcome to my channel Loopy Mabel Crochet. My name is Jane and in today's video it's going to be a fabulous easy tutorial if you're new to crochet this is perfect for you too. Everybody loves the granny stitch and I thought I would just show you how I do my version of a granny stitch shawl. Here is the one I made quite a while ago. I've worn it and worn it, absolutely love it. And I thought I'd share it with you in a free tutorial. And if you fancy to having a go, please join along with me today. Um, before I go on onto the tutorial, I just want to share with you what I'm wearing. I am wearing the Honeycomb Shoulder Snug, and there's a full tutorial on how to make this on my channel. And as always, a full written PDF pattern of, as well that you can download and you'll find the link for that. In the box below. So without further ado let's go over to the overhead camera and let's have a go at making our granny stitch shawl. tutorial you just need the basic tools you can use any yarn and any hook for this tutorial I'm going to be using the Sirdar colour wheel and it's a double knit colour changing yarn and are those colours gorgeous and I'll just tell you what shade it is if you wanted to use the same one it is shade 205 and as I said, it's a double knit yarn and there is 150 grams per ball. And I'm thinking I'm going to probably be using the full two balls. I've got two balls of this. It's 80% acrylic and it's got 20% wool in it. And it's a lovely yarn to use. So I'm going to be using this. But as I say, you can use any double knit yarn, any iron weight yarn. Obviously, you need to use the hook that goes with the yarn that you're using. Now, I'm going to be using a 4.5 millimeter hook because I just want to make sure I have enough yarn to complete this project. Uh, but normally, I would use a 4 millimeter hook. And the tutorial will be in UK terms. So, if you're watching from outside the UK, you just need to be aware of the difference in terms. And what I'm going to do is before we get going on this tutorial, because it really, really is simple to do to make the granny shawl, is I'm just going to go over the treble crochet stitch or double crochet if you're watching from the US. So you don't need to flick through other um, videos to find if you need a refresh on that stitch. So I'm just going to quickly go over the treble stitch and then we'll go on to making our granny stitch shawl. So I'm just going to make a couple of chains just to show you the stitch. This is not part of the tutorial. This is just to remind you a refresher of the stitch. Right. So to do the treble, which is what the granny stitch is going to be, it's going to be treble or double crochet if you're watching from the US. It's yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. So you've got three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the first two so you're left with two loops on your hook and yarn over pull through and that is your treble so let me just do that again so yarn over inserting your hook yarn over and pull through three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and this is basically the stitch we're going to be doing throughout this tutorial so i'll do it a few more times yarn over pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is the treble stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our magic circle. So you just need to make your magic circle however you, way you know. This is how I like to make mine. And we're going to start off with chain three. So one, two, and three. And that's going to be our first treble. And we're going to go down into that circle there. And we're going to do another two more trebles. So yarn over, 
inserting your hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we now have three trebles. And we're going to chain two. So chain one, chain two. And we're going to go back down into our magic ring and we're going to do three more trebles. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, work your treble, and one more time. With your treble. So you should have three trebles, two chain, three trebles, and we're just going to pull the yarn to tighten up our magic ring. And believe it or not, that is the start of your shawl. So from here, we're just going to work around like so continue on and that's how you make your granny shawl and how super simple is that so I'll quickly show you my other one just to show you what I mean so this is the one I did using different colors so as I say you can use any yarn you can swap your colors every few rows like I have done or you can use your color changing yarn or you can just use one yarn whatever look you're looking for and basically we started off here and you're literally going to grow your granny shawl working backwards and forwards to the point back up and it's as simple as that so it's super simple if you're new to crochet practice the treble stitch then you can make a granny shawl definitely i'm going to take you through it anyway step by step so let's get back to what we started with so there is the beginning of our granny shawl so what we need to do, and I think if you're new to crochet, recommend you use your stitch markers at the beginning of each row. Then you can identify where you're going to come back to when you come back around. So we're going to start off and chain one and turn our work. And we're now going to be working back down. And that chain one does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work down into that first treble that we've got there and work three trebles. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over pull through two insert your stitch marker into that first treble Ooh. so we know where we're coming back to and then we go, go back down to the same stitch and work two more trebles like that and then we're going to go down. Remember the two chain that we did? We're going to work into that chain two space and we're going to work three trebles, chain two, three trebles. So yarn over, insert your hook. There's one, two, three, chain two, one, two back down into that chain space and work three more one two and three then we're going to work into you know the three chain that we did at the very beginning that counters as our treble so you just find the top of your three chain which is there and if you struggle to find just count one two three and we're going to work into that stitch there and work three trebles so one two three and three and just pull that again so it's tight so there we have row two 
and it simply is this simple. You can go now and put some music on or watch TV and you just work this same row over and over again. So let's just recap. So we're going to chain one and turn. Always turn your work each row and work down into that very first treble always into the first one and work three trebles. So let's just do that. There's our first. There's our second. There's our third. I'm sorry, I should have inserted the stitch marker. Sorry, insert the stitch marker into that first one that we did. Then we're going to go down in to the next space between the clusters of trebles. So you have like, it's not a chain space, it's just a space created when we move from one block to the next block. So we're always going to be working down into those spaces or into the two chain space in the point of the shawl. So into the next work three trebles. So one. two and three. Then we're going to go into the two chain space and whenever we work into the two chain space we do three trebles, chain two, three trebles. So let's chain two, back down into the same space, one, two and three. I'm just going to work into our next natural space along working three trebles. One, two and three. And then into that last stitch. Now we've got our stitch marker so we know exactly where we're going to insert our hook into there where our stitch marker is. So if you hold on to that stitch, take your stitch marker out and you know you're going to go into there. So yarn over, insert your hook and work three trebles or three double crochets if you're watching from the US. So one, two and three and can you see how your shawl is forming already it's so simple seriously so it's basically repeat over and over and over so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a marker on the video and I'm just going to recap this row for you so if you need to recap and you can't remember what you're doing just come to this point in the video and it's the same instructions throughout so if you just need a reminder I'll just put a marker here. So the marker is going to be chain one let's turn our work working down into that first stitch work three trebles so yarn over pull through two pull through two insert your stitch marker back down and do two more. Now obviously your work's going to grow so it doesn't really matter but you're always going to be working into those natural spaces with your three trebles and then the two chain space in the point of your shawl you work three trebles, chain two, three trebles. So let's just do this row because this is going to be our recap row. So let's go down into the natural space, work three trebles. Then into the next natural space, work three trebles. And obviously as your shawl gets bigger, you're going to have more natural spaces to work your three trebles in. So just work into those spaces. Then you'll come to the point of your shawl and you work your three trebles. You chain two and back down working your three trebles. 
so one two and three working along into our natural spaces with three trebles We've got another one there, another natural space, so in we go, three trebles. And we've got three trebles to finish off with, and we've got our stitch marker to show us where we're going to insert our hook. So remove your stitch marker, hold on to your stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, work. You guessed it, three trebles. So, continue on like so. I've put a marker on this video for this row, so you just repeat this row, and obviously as your shawl grows, you're gonna have more natural spaces. You just work into those natural spaces with your three trebles or three double crochets if you're watching from the US. You're going to get to your point, your two chain point. Inside that point, you're going to work three trebles, chain two, three trebles, and then you're going to move up the other side and do exactly the same. Don't forget to include your stitch marker, and then you can highlight where you're going to finish off each row. I highly recommend you put the stitch marker in. And then just continue like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you do quite a few rows and I shall come back when I'm probably halfway through to show you what my shawl is looking like so far because I haven't got a clue how it's going to look so I'm looking forward to that. So I just thought I'd pop in midway just to show you what this gorgeous yarn is looking like so far on my shawl. Isn't it gorgeous? Hopefully if you've got as far as me then you're doing okay. So just a quick recap before I keep going I've just come to the end of my row now obviously the more rows you do the longer your sides are going to get before you get to your corner point and obviously the more trebles you're going to do so I'm going to keep on going I'm just about I would say over halfway on my yarn cake so let's just keep on going and hopefully I'll come back and show you what these delicious colors look like Okay, so I have done 50 rows, so just quickly show you the fabulous colours in this yarn cake I've used. Absolutely gorgeous, really rustic autumn colours, just perfect colours that I have in my wardrobe to mix and match. So that's 50 rows and it is a decent size. So I'm going to stop at 50 rows, so I've just got a few more stitches to finish off this row so I'll just quickly finish off and I'm just going to keep it completely plain just like my other one no edgings or anything like that a plain granny stitch shawl with my last three trebles and I'm just going to cut the yarn And pull it through and then obviously going to sew in our ends and obviously we've got the right at the very beginning that we started just got to pull that tight so it makes it lovely and neat just got to sew it in the end there and you should you should have a lovely straight edge if you always do your chain one when you turn before you go on to your first set of trebles you should give you a lovely straight edge so there we go, that is our granny shawl and I hope you have made one just as lovely as this. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make this really simple but really stylish granny stitch shawl and this is the one I did in the tutorial using that lovely yarn cake and aren't these colours fabulous? I'll just turn Mabel round so you can see. Now as I say I did the 50 rows and this is the length that I was happy with it goes quite the way down the back and look at all those fabulous colors 
So that is 50 rows, but you can go on, make your shawl bigger if you want. You just keep on going exactly the same until you're happy with the length that you want. But that is the 50 row version and I've kept it completely plain, no edging, just pure granny stitch shawl. And I'll just show you what I've got left of, this is yarn cake number two, so I've got a little bit left of the yarn cake. So with what I've got left, I am going to probably make a pair of matching wrist warmers, then I've got a nice cosy set. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, if you did, don't forget to give me that lovely thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And then you'll never miss any videos or tutorials that I bring out. I'm always designing new designs, creating new tutorials, all completely free for you, my lovely subscribers. Love to read your comments, so please pop your comments in the box below and if I can help you with any crochet queries, I'll try and help too. So just let me know and I will answer back, I promise. But until the next time, I hope you enjoyed this crochet tutorial. I hope you're going to make yourselves a lovely granny stitch shawl. And until the next time, please take care and as always, happy crochet.